Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to take a look at um, how we can use the slant board method for of, of determining focus to also determine feed rates for new pieces of material. So what I have here is I've picked up this uh, uh, board actually uh, Hobby Lobby was selling, you know, packets of these for like two bucks, so I decided to pick up a few packets, but uh, the thickness is a little bit different and also material from what I'm used to working with. So if I take the micrometer and I look at it, uh, it's about four mil a little over four uh, millimeters in thickness, where I'm used to working with about three. So what I did is, as you see, I had aligned it um, us using these... Uh, pins which I'd come up with which I showed in a different video where I held it in place there and then elevated the back and then ran the cuts through. Now what I did was is I documented each one of the cuts so uh, this was at 95 percent intensity so I ran it at 15 millimeters a second, 6, 4, and 2. Now I think a couple things you'll notice here is as I went up in intensity uh, the the separation and in, in, you know from out of focus in focus out of focus definitely stood up now this is a little anomaly they got caught at the end here because I was so far over and so I had to board it here but you kind of get the idea is that it was way out of focus anyway so um, what also is interesting is on the back side of the board is that basically the four and the two so this is the two and this is the four uh, actually started to cut through the board and which is really interesting is the four I mean the, the four actually cut through a little bit better than the two so uh, that it was definitely worth note so what I also did was I, I took um, sort of the, the apex if you will of the backside cut lined it up and brought that transferred that around to the front too to determine the cut uh, or the focus point for the board in the front. So with this I've determined that the height of the board is optimized at 13 30 seconds of an inch and then basically my optimal feed rate for this board is about four millimeters a second at this so utilizing this I can calculate um, basically what my feed should be versus my intensity and also my optimal focal point. So basically what I'll now do is set my uh, pins basically at, um, you know, so the material is raised up uh, 13, uh, 30 seconds. And again, as I showed in the prior video, basically what I'll do is take the scale, move the scale down to 13, 30 seconds down here, and then uh, use that to measure up in, in the scale uh, from my pins. So get that set. So anyways, the main point of, of doing this video is if you get a new piece of material, it's, it's worth doing the slant board method. Even if you know where your focus is at, it helps you clarify the focus for the board or the material, whether it's acrylic, etc. And then it also helps determine, you know, what's your feed rate. Now, you know, one of the things, notice the, the deep, the burn rate, because again, you can go too slow, and especially for wood or, or acrylic, because the acrylic can just keep remelting. So basically with this, what we have is, um, again, coming up with the optimal of about four seem to, uh, you know, burn through the best. Because one of the things I found, too, is if you char too much, the, the charred material actually begins working as sort of an insulator. So you can keep running pass over pass over pass, and you're not going to get anywhere because of the insulation. That, that's being built up by the charred material and that's absorbing the heat in the beam. Now you can turn up your air a little bit. Now I used constant air settings on all of these uh, and, and that's probably something else that you want to mess with a little bit too because the air is going to blow out this channel uh, and remove some of the charred material. So be a little bit careful with that too because that can be a little bit of a, a fire issue um, in the evacuation of the fumes. So again, a little bit of safety first there but uh, Anyways, I guess long story short, this is kind of an effective way of determining speeds and feeds for new materials. So hopefully this helped. Um, if it did, hey, give it a thumbs up. 
and uh, subscribe to the channel. We'll be doing more videos like this on different materials and different tricks and tips. Cheers!